We're gonna talk to some people, gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna talk to Hello. some people, gonna learn a lot of stuff. We're gonna talk to some Hello. people, gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna talk to some Hello. people, gonna learn a lot of stuff. Cause a whisper knows blank. Hi guys, welcome back to a super awesome episode of the Kristen Knows Blank podcast. My friend Ken Boyd is on the show today. We just worked together for three weeks on a cruise ship and had a blast. But before we get to Ken, thank you for listening. Please stop what you're doing, drop everything, and like, follow, and subscribe to this podcast. However you're listening or watching, there's going to be a button somewhere that says like, follow, or subscribe. Just push the button and see what happens. You could get superpowers. Um, Hi, I'm Kristen Key. I am the host of This Crazy Mess. Go to my website, kristenkey.com, follow me on every bit of my social media, subscribe to my YouTube, just become a crazy internet stalker right now, right this second. Okay. Um, you can also check out my calendar, see when I'll be doing stand up in a city near you. Join my Patreon. There's exclusive bonus content. Um, there's a monthly game night. It supports this show and all of my shows. Friday nights, I have a live show. So watch Friday Live at 5. Get a cameo from me. I sing a song for everybody that gets a cameo now. So excited to bring on today's guest. He's hilarious. You might have seen him on Showtime at the Apollo, uh, Comedy Central, Kevin Hart's Heart of the City. Guys, he's so funny, so fun to work with, and uh, and I'm excited that he's here. Hey, computer lady, uh, find that interview with Ken Boyd. Playing interview with Ken Boyd. Hey! Hey, how's it going? Hey, Christian mother... Ken Key. Uh, 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 uh. Ken. Oh, Ken. Look at you. Hey. Hey, ain't I cute? <laughs> oh, my God. You're adorable. You're always adorable. St- you stay right there. Hang on. Hang on. Don't go any further. Hang on. Okay. 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 Continue. Wait, wait. My bad. Uh, wait. You have to go. You have to go far or what? No. I had to give my Thor's hammer. It was really hey. important. Well, I gotta go. I gotta run and get my Go get now. your Thor's hammer. This is a big deal. <laughs> Come on, man. We are yes. worthy. We are worthy. Ah. This, and just so everybody watching and listening, this is uh, this was a gift that I kind of stole from Ken <laughs> because Ken went and came and was like, oh, you got to see what I got. I got this keychain. And then he was like, here you go. I'll be right back. Went in his cabin and I just had it by myself in the hallway and I was playing with it and swinging it <laughs> and worthy. And then he came back and I gave it back. I was like, man, I'm really jealous about that horse <laughs> hammer keychain you got there. And he goes, you know what? You should keep it. I was like, yes, I'm worthy. <laughs> She's 100% correct. And I was, whenever I do a cruise ship, and I'm pretty sure if y'all may or may not know, Christian Key and I, we uh we're very rich and we perform on cruise ships from, so from rich. time to time. So <laughs> with stuff like get, this, you know yeah. we're rich. Hey, yeah. is, so I uh I like to wander around when I'm at port and just see what I'm surrounded by and I just like to stretch my legs and, and things of this nature. So Seattle, they have this very popular market that's like an an ant's nest. It has so many different levels and it, it just doesn't end. You can just keep turning corners and it just is constant market. So I, I stumble into this uh, kind of like a comic book store of sorts. And they have all this paraphernalia and they have uh, scripts and comic books and little action figures and such. And I'm just really wasting time just before I, I get back on the ship. And I just so happen to look right before I leave and they have one of, if not my favorite Avengers, chief weapon, which is Minyor, I don't know if I'm saying it right, uh, Thor's hammer. And I said, oh, this is pretty neat. I think I'll purchase this for myself. So that night, Christian Key and I, I think we were getting ready to uh, have, some, have some dinner with two other uh, entertainers on the ship. And I said, hey, we had a previous conversation about Marvel movies and things of that nature. I said, I think you'll appreciate this. Look what I just bought. And take a look at this while I get my shoes on. I mean, it's like head. it's like opening a suitcase full of cash and be like, look what I have. That's not yours, but why don't you hold it? I'll be right back. I'm like, he has this thing that I want this thing. It's got weight to it. Well balanced. My thought process when I did that was, I don't want Christian just waiting in the hall, waiting for me to get my shoes on, but I know she'll appreciate this. So here, take a look at this. This should distract you while I'm still getting my shoes on and getting ready to, to have dinner. <laughs> so I said, hey, look at this. And I'm getting ready, I get my stuff on and I open the door. There's a five-year-old 
in the hallway outside of my room, spinning this thing and playing, right? And I said, okay, it's, it's time to give it back. That was just for, to, to, to distract you while I got my clothes on. Here's the good part. We had dinner. We finished eating dinner. And it's me, her, the two other entertainers. And she brings it up and comes. She's like, wow, you should see this keychain that Ken Boy got today. It's towards him. And she starts going on and on and on. And she finally breaks down and says, you should have got me one. You really should have got me one. <laughs> And I say, whoa. <laughs> I say, hey, you know, and I, out of fear for my life, I said, why don't you take that one? <laughs> and I'll go get another one. I mean, I remember it slightly different. Like when you opened your door instead of a five-year-old, I think you meant to say you saw the God of Thunder, like oh, excuse me. summoning like lightning from the heavens. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't yeah. mean to disrespect you, but yeah, yeah. But no, that's all, basically how it happened. Exactly. Yeah. All that's in exactly. all, we Word both have it. one now, and we are uh, Hammer Twins. We are Hammer now. Twins, and this, yes. this this all started. Thank thank you, by the way, because when I came on that ship, I had a three week contract on this Holland America ship and the schedule was different than I'm used to. I'm hearing things about like, you're performing like eight times a week, you're doing an adult show. I'm like, okay, this is all kind of new for Holland. I've never said the F word to these old wrinkly people. <laughs> and I ran into you in the hallway looking comfortable as you could be. I was like, hey, will you tell me how the shows work? And the next thing you know, we're having dinner and then everything's going to be great. And uh, I don't know how we got into Marvel, but we... We went head yeah, first after man. that. We went head first into friendship. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I I'm pretty sure you you learned very quickly, and as you know now, I don't shy away from uh, an opportunity to uh, present my authentic self on on stage. And I don't care what the people in the crowd look like. If they look like me, cool. If they don't, that's cool too. If they're old, if they're young, if they're fluent. I think everybody country, listening and watching needs to know it's it. Holland. Very few people look like Ken. Exactly. Many of them are old. Yes, and yes, all of them are white. Okay, that's the that's the demographic. Very old, yeah. very rich, very white, very yeah. retired. Tell but them I how you gonna... started the whole week. The whole the first <laughs> thing I heard out of your mouth on a Holland America demographic, mostly white, sixty and older. I just want to just just so we'll get an idea of where this began. And this was on a family friendly show. This is where it started. Okay, so I was very intentional by starting every week. The first show of every week, exactly like this. Hey, it's uh, it's very, it's very uh, good to be here. I'm very glad to be standing all in front of all the good people who stormed the Capitol back in January. <laughs> I mean, that's where it all began. That's when my show, like, I get a little uncomfortable on shows. I'm like, I wonder if they're gonna like my haircut. I was like, they're gonna love me. They, this is gonna be fine. I'm. A, they're gonna leave here going like that. Lesbian was lovely, which they did. This, this was this was great. It, you being the barometer made the week so fun, so fun. <laughs> because watching that, and they, you got to laugh off that. And it was like yeah. those that laughed because it, like, for the joke of it, is funny. Those that laughed uncomfortably was even funnier. And those yes, that didn't laugh yes. at first, like, mm, and then realized I'm the only person not laughing, and then laugh, that that was that was who the joke was for. So nah. fun, so nah. fun. And that's the thing, man. So that's so I'll do that up top just to set the. Top. It's a nice jab, bam. So and then I'll say, hey, look. Immediately after I say that, you heard me. I said, this is what the show is going to be for the next thirty minutes. You can leave if you want to, but if you stay. This is what it is. I also it's like that when you said you can leave if you want to. We're on a ship. Where are they going to go? <laughs> exactly. Well, you can leave out of this room. You right. Can you can go stew in your cabin or you can go get. I don't, I don't yeah. like I don't like I don't like how he said that. And, you know, so that's that's my reward at the end of the show. Like I was uncomfortable. Well, ask yourself, why were you uncomfortable when right. I said these things? You know, I'm not doing very. You saw my you see. I'm not doing revolutionary stuff comedically. I'm not a comedic genius, but I'll throw little throw little things in there just like that, just to really, you know. You're a great comic, those, by the way. You're a fantastic comic. Three, yeah, well, thank I'm you. not gonna. And, I like. I just. I, I. You know it, and the whole audience that watches you know. You're very good at good at comedy. You're very good at crowd work, but you're also really good at where knowing where that line is 
depending on what show you are, which I think that's the mark of an experienced comedian is knowing where the line is, identifying it. And then like really like playing around with it, you know, having fun with the line, you know, cause you never, you never ever, um, crossed it in a family friendly show. Although you were right on it through most of your act right on it to the point where people, I think it's the, it's like why people go through a haunted house. They want to be uncomfortable, but everything's safe. It is safe. You're fine. You're going to be okay at the end. Exactly. Yeah. Now, how did, now, now, I don't know how we got into it one night, but we really bonded that first night we sat down, we started talking about superheroes and Marvel movies. I, th- I guess we were talking about our, you know. Um, we were talking about this show. Oh, you, my, you, my podcast. You were explaining to me the format of your show. And you were saying that, oh, the guys that I bring on, or the comics, excuse me, the comics that I bring on, they are the most interesting people because you would think it's just, we never talk about comics, even though we just spend an X amount of time talking about comics. Well, we just worked together for three weeks, so it's hard not to. Yeah, so, yeah. like, yeah, we never talk about com- comedy, and these people are interested in the most amazing things, and this person likes collecting tortilla chips shaped like ex-presidents, and this person collects coins. God, I would love person- to have a comedian on that could collect tortilla chips. But yes, yes, I got a, a guy on that was, like, uh, obsessed with Wendy's, the franchise. Uh, Jody right. Sweet obsessed with serial killers, you know, and so I was, like, asking right. what yours would be, and... And yeah, we kind of bled into, and I was like, well, uh, I, I can't remember who mentioned it first, you or me, but the uh, Marvel uh, topic came up. And I just share, I casually shared that my favorite Avenger was, it used to be Iron Man, but now it's Thor. Baby. Thor. 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 Sim- simply because of, you know, the, the Greek mythology and the relationship with the hammer and things of that nature. So then we just, we, it was a rabbit hole and we just, well, did you know this? Well, did you know this? But did you know this how this started? Well, and the that. emotions of it, because like I mentioned, like the times that I got emotional through all the Marvel movies, like the, the times that I like I tear up always have to do with the hammer. It's every, <laughs> like in the very first Thor when, you know, he's like dead, which he shouldn't, I mean, I don't think he got hit that hard, but anyway. He, uh, you know, he's it was, sit- a, it, was a, it was the first one, so they had to. Yeah. Right, right, right. Oh God, poor Thor! Th- I was like, is he just knocked out, or is he dead? But Jane Foster's freaking out, and then like the little little sparkles happen, and when the Thor comes back, you know, I mean, the hammer comes back and it hits his hand. I mean, I'm like, just like, oh, oh it's something with <laughs> his best friends. But I don't know what it is about that damn hammer. Yeah, love man, it. I love it because, and I, you know, I touched on this when we first spoke about it. I love it because the ownership, it's like only a handful of people. I mean, because, okay, let, let, let's take away what I'm about to say. Let, let's start from the beginning. In the very beginning, it was made from a, a dying star, right? That's right. Which, which makes it pretty powerful. Now, Thor himself is a god. Everyone else is like a freak of nature or just has a cool suit or is a, a beautiful accident of the rest of the Avengers, right? This man is a god. Let's start with that. He's a god. Can we really just let that sit in for a moment? This per Tony Stark has a very cool multi-billion dollar uh, suit and Hawkeye has good aim and Romanoff, the Black Widow is very good at manipulation and she's a great fighter and the- Hulk- I would tell her anything, yeah. Yes, he's a, he's a, I, I, I would, I would listen to anything she has to say. Mm-hmm. But uh both ways, yeah. The Hulk is a beautiful accident. Um Captain America is a beautiful accident. Is a is a super, you know, yeah. Uh, but Thor is by all accounts a god. Automatically you you you're up here. So that's number 1. Not only is he a god, he's not a whack god like Loki's the god of mischief. Whatever. <laughs> You know, it does seem like a god. made up title, like, ah, oh, you, you're, you're good too, son. You're the law. Lo- you're the, exactly. you're the god of breakfast. Cause you make the best breakfast, breakfast. Yeah. God. You're the, you're the god of omelets. You know, but... <laughs> Dude, I would worship that God. You're the, you're the me. You're the, oh, I'll do one for you. You're the god of crepes. Bonjour. <gasps> yes. All hail the god of crepes. Bonjour. <laughs> god of crepes. Chris. Kristen loves, she loves crepes. <laughs> I love, I love crepes. Like Thor loves that hammer. Like a crepe would probably be my super weapon. <laughs> Just yeah. throw crepes at people. And they'd be like, oh, you won this round, Keith. 
Mm -hmm. They're distracted by my grapes. <laughs> Go on, guys. So not only is a god, he's a, a he has a cool rim. He's the god of thunder. Even though lightning comes from the, I don't want to get into that. It's like shouldn't be the god of lightning if he can summon lightning. Why is he the god of thunder? But that that's semantics, whatever. So when it comes to the hammer, so that's that's a uh, bedrock for Thor. Now let's get to the hammer. The hammer is cool. The hammer is a hammer all by itself, but Odin saw fit to enchant the hammer. This is what makes it. Whoever cool holds it this hammer, if they be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Yes! <laughs> yes! You have to be worthy. And like, as, as powerful as the Hulk is, he put it on his chest and he couldn't get up. He was just. Right, so I remember when Hulk do... was on that plane trying to pick it up, and he just and his, <laughs> his feet was going into the foot. <laughs> and Hulk's like a five year old, like, ah, oh, I'm gonna get it. It's, it's psychological to the Hulk because historically, there's nothing I haven't been able to lift. And I'm, right. I'm, a, I'm a 10 foot powerhouse, and this little bitty hammer that makes me doing... see that's what the, the hammer is stronger than Thor in a way because. Thor has to be worthy to hold the hammer and like the hammer's stronger than the Hulk. So I think the hammer is the strongest Avenger. Well, yeah, but it's no good without Thor. So it's like, it's that's the true. Perfect, <laughs> it's the perfect temp. They work together. That's right, why I love right. it so much. So even if it's, I, I, I mean, I'm, we're speaking theoretically, of course, I'm not fooling enough to believe this is real, but I could leave this hammer on another planet. I could leave this hammer on Titan and go to Midgard and summon it. It has to come. It might take a while, but boom, I mean, it always coming. comes. It'll always, it always it's comes. always it's always there. And then that's why that moment was so powerful in Endgame when come on, come on, relax, calm down, I mean, calm down. I don't even want on. to do <laughs> Christian, breathe, 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 peace. I think this is a post-it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh man yo this is why that one particular moment now i was in the movie theater to go see this movie and if you, i don't know if you've ever done this look up the reaction videos to this one moment on youtube there are cameras on the crowd and when when captain america wheels this and then oh i dropped it and then they cut. It'll come like back to you. The crowd, oh, because they know the power and the significance and the gravity of the moment. Like, yeah, I could have been done this before, but I didn't because we're good friends and I know how much this hammer means to you. But th the time is now. It's do or die. It's life or death. I don't have time to be coy. I need to save your life so we can save everybody's life. So, boom. Yeah. And that's why everybody went nuts so it's not a bit it's not there's no small deal to be able to hold this hammer man so that's why i love the um the mythology of it and i love the the identity of the hammer and the relationship between him and thor and when he lost it how he had to go oh. inward to, to find the greater power but then he got he got it back by going through time and so uh, i love the hammer and i'm gonna pick it up right now I th it when vi like even when Vision held it, it was like it makes my arm hairs stand up, my little tiny baby arm hairs. Like when Vision, mm -hmm. just because that that simple moment, just the simple handing of it mm -hmm. back to Thor and Thor mm -hmm. being like, "Yeah, okay, Vision, you're cool." Like that was like any any whatever I've said it before. Anytime the hammer's involved, I'm probably gonna get weepy. Yeah, man, that's just I just love it, man. And like I told you, I'm gonna buy a an actual replica of this excuse me just for decoration in my home i found one it's it's about i don't want to do the plastic one that weighs sure. nothing i found one that's like seven and a half pounds okay it's got a got a nice little weight to it man and i'm gonna just sit it right up there on my shelf and you know with uh amongst my other oh uh, i should collection. come visit and be like i'm so jealous to see if you'll give it to me yeah that's not that's <laughs> it's not gonna happen you know just... it's time for five quick questions <laughs> I've got some trivia here. I'm going to ask you five Yay. quick questions, and they're Yay. all about Thor. You can't stop me, baby. Come on. Well, I was, then in that case, this is not a question. I'm just going to actually tell you the name of the hammer Mjolnir. Mjolnir. 
me, me on, I always mispronounce it. It's like we're saying the same thing. <laughs> yeah, Ming Mong. It's <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> so, this is five quick questions, and they all have to do with Thor's hammer. Usually, I do 50 50 questions, not with you because you're so smart. I need mm -hmm. you to name question number one name two magical abilities of Thor's hammer, of which there are several. Two magical <clears throat> abilities of Thor's hammer. He can summon, it can summon lightning, and it can, if you spill it, <laughs> if you spill it really fast, you can take flight. Oh my God, your hammer pulls you off. Yes, that is, <laughs> that is two, there's several of them. The fact that you have to be worthy to pick it up is one of them. The hammer can also shape shift. Name one other object the hammer has shape shifted into in any of the movies. This movie's Umbrella. only not coming. Okay, Umbrella. okay. Number two, dust. <laughs> Correcto mundo. Okay. Umbrella. Thor's hammer was used as a defibrillator on more than one occasion. Name one time Thor used his hammer to start someone's heart. Uh, Tony Stark, when they went back in time uh, to as a distraction. Well, actually, yeah, they went back to cause a distraction and Thor brought him back by placing it on his uh, chest and just tapping it. Yeah. I didn't know that I was going to work. I, didn't know that was gonna work. <laughs> Come on, I love on, it. Baby. That is correct. Yeah, boy, baby. Come on. I love it. I love it. This is fun. This is fun for me. And usually I'm rooting <laughs> against you, but this is uh, it's a different type of guest. Someone I can nerd out with. <laughs> number three. I believe this is number three. Uh, what does the Grand Master call Thor instead of God of Thunder? There are two answers Lord, to this. Yeah. Lord of Thunder. That Sparkles. is correct. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Oh, wow. Yes, okay. Both. Sparkles and Lord of Thunder. <laughs> that is Give correct. Sparkles was my favorite. Okay, okay. Number four. Number four. Matt Damon played a cameo in Thor Ragnarok. God damn it. Okay. Number four. Done. Correct. <laughs> Easy peasy. How about this? Name four people that can That's hold Mjolnir other than Thor. And this is question uh, number five. Question number five. Name four people uh, that have held or could hold Mjolnir. Uh, number one, Odin. Correct. Number two, Hela. 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 Correct. Hella. You are Hela right on number two. Uh, number three, Vision. Number four, Captain America. That's correct. Okay, got it. Yeah. I mean, in the fifth, it looks like Jane Foster is going to be the new owner of Mjolnir. So you you smoked five yes. quick questions. Easy breezy. Yes. Uh, Please do. Look how strong he is. Um, uh, but I can't let anybody leave without playing a quick rad lib with me. And now it's time for rad libs. Wait, I've written a story specifically for you, but I've left out some parts of speech. All you gotta do is give me those parts of speech together. We're gonna make a hilarious story. Are you ready to play Red Lips? Kim Boyd is ready. Yes, okay. All right, I need an adjective. Erect. Yes! All right, I need a hey. verb ending in ing. Yes. Well, I gotta go with fucking. I'm in, I'm in. I need a Erect. famous, Fuck. a famous failure. Donald Trump. <laughs> that was pretty fa pretty pretty famous. Um, I need a question. Any question? Do you have AIDS? <laughs> All right, we're off to a great start. We're in the first paragraph. This is great. <laughs> I need an adjective ending in EST. Let's go with bestest. The bestest. bestest. Yes. Yes. Okay, I need one of the five senses. <laughs> the sense of humor. Now, um... I'm gonna put humor. Okay, go Okay, there's no rules. I mean... There's no rules. There's no rules. This, it just change whatever you put, it, it just changes the story, but there's no right or wrong in a red lip. I need a therapy issue. A therapy, erectile dysfunction. Yes. <laughs> Is that what you talk about with your therapist? <laughs> I need a four letter word. Puss, P-U-S-S. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Sorry, I changed that sentence. I need an adjective. <laughs> Another adjective. Another adjective. There's a few in these. Holy. An element on the periodic table. I got it. Vibranium. Vibranium. Yes. Wakanda forever, baby. A noun. Balls. 
<laughs> Excellent. Uh, a weather event? Since I'm from Houston. Hurricane. Hurricane, yes. Uh, a famous female? Mike Pence. Okay. <laughs> We're almost done. We have like four left. Body part plural. Well, I already said balls, didn't I? Uh, let's go with clitora. <laughs> I don't actually think that multiple clitorises are called clitori, but for this story, more than one clitoris is now a clitori. Like octopi. <laughs> Although now that I think about it, more than one clitorises should be called octopi. <laughs> yeah, man, let's make history. <laughs> okay. A verb ending in S. Ejaculate. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. This is quite the story. An adverb. Passionately. Passion. Yes. This might be the greatest Radlib that's ever been written. Well, I am Ken Boyd. You are Ken Boyd. An exclamation of disappointment. <laughs> oh, you know what I say in real life? What? <laughs> if, some, if I'm really disappointed, I'll, uh, as I'm exhaling, I'll say, son of a bitch. That's it. That's it. And we have a story. We have a fantastic story. Oh, my God. I got to hear this. Ken Boyd, your story is just called Earth's Mightiest. Uh... Earth's Mightiest. Earth. 2021. The planet has been invaded by an erect race of aliens. They are fucking havoc all over the city. It seems that Earth is as doomed as Trump. <laughs> yes! Yes! I love it! You can end the story right there. <laughs> Uh, it seems that Earth is as doomed as Trump. The entire planet is desperately wondering, do you have AIDS? It's time for Earth's bestest heroes to assemble. Okay. One is a scientist whose gamma radiation experiment had gone terribly wrong, le leaving them with green skin, super humor, and erectile dysfunction issues. <laughs> 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 Funny, flat, <laughs> they call him the Incredible Puss. <laughs> How perfect is that? How perfect is that? <laughs> you have written the perfect story. Uh, the heart of the team is a soldier who was given a serum that made him super holy. His name was Captain Holy. They were joined by a billionaire genius called Vibranium Man and a kid who had been bitten by a radioactive spider. They called him Spider Balls. <laughs> it's so good. They were joined by the god of hurricanes and a female assassin only known as Mike Pence. <laughs> Using their powers, their suits, and their clitori, they battle the aliens. Oh my god! The Incredible Puss ejaculates on everything in sight. <laughs> when the dust settles, the heroes stand passionately. All over the galaxy, words begins to spread of Earth's mightiest heroes. And all over the galaxy, bad guys begin to say, Son of a bitch. <laughs> Ken Boyd, that was the best rad lib that's ever been. <laughs> listen, listen, we have to actually present this in a pitch meeting soon. <laughs> Who wouldn't pick us up? He's big, Come on. he's green, he's got erectile dysfunction. It's the incredible funny. puss. <laughs> he's funny. He's super funny. <laughs> incredible push. oh my god i love every moment of this ken please tell the oh listeners and viewers where they can find you and what you have coming up if you are interested and you like anything i said or if you find me uh, be even remotely entertaining you can, and you want to keep up with me i can be found at 
all forms of social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, blackpeoplemeet.com, Christian Mingle, all the older people. I'm on ancestry.com as well. I just started a TikTok. I think I got like two followers. Uh, I'm not gonna be dancing in front of my phone and shit like that. I gotta figure out what to do with my TikTok book. I use the same name for everything. Very easy to find. It's very uniform. It's The Ken Boyd Show. That's me. The Ken Boyd, K-E-N-D-O-Y-D Show. The Ken Boyd Show. Put that in anywhere. You'll find me. And if you follow me, you know, I make sure I show love. I send you a dick pic or something like that, man. And just to show love. It won't be an incredible puss, but it will be an erect son of a bitch. <laughs> Ken Boyd, guys, everybody follow Ken's TikTok. So now with all of my listeners and viewers, you will go from two followers to four. five. <laughs> hey, I have my sight too low. Hey, man. No, guys. Oh, my God. Thank you, Ken, so much for coming on. I love you very much. And it was a pleasure. To, I, I'm glad I, I, I passed cross, cross, and I look forward to the next time uh, that they cross again. Till next time, stay black. <laughs> Interview complete. Hiding Ken Boyd's keys until he is worthy of finding them. Oh, little do you know, computer lady, Ken Boyd is already worthy. Ken Boyd, thank you so much for coming on the show today. You're amazing. You're wonderful. Love you, love you, love you. Guys, follow, friend, find, stalk Ken Boyd. Um, And thank you for listening to this podcast. I'm Kristen Key. Find me through my website, kristenkey.com. Follow me on all my social media. Join the Patreon. It's it's a really good time. Uh, Watch my Friday Live at 5 show. Get a cameo from me. Each week, I will be bringing you another hilarious comedian. We're going to chit-chat. We're going to play five quick questions. We're going to do a rad lib. And then everybody goes home superheroes. Until next time. Bye-bye. We're going to talk to some people. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to talk to Hello. some people. We're going to learn a lot of stuff. We're going to talk to some Hello. people. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to talk to some Hello. people. We're going to learn a lot of stuff. Because Kristen knows.